Hello guys, what's up? This is Junaid. Welcome back again to Xfinity. And in this amazing video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the Premiere Pro problem of uh, not using dedicated GPU. It is using your integrated GPU, then you are in the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you the possible ways how you can force Premiere Pro to use your dedicated GPU, which, which can be NVIDIA, AMD, GTX, RTX and so on. If your Premiere Pro is forcefully using integrated GPU and not using dedicated GPU then you are in the right video. So I will show possible methods to solve this problem. Just stay with me till the end of the video and you will find your solution. Okay. Before starting this video make sure to like subscribe and share and don't forget to hit uh, that like button and comment down below if you face any problem. You can also follow me on Instagram if you face any problem and I will try my best to solve it. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to your GeForce experience and you need to make sure by going into drivers that your NVIDIA Studio driver is uh, selected. Okay, if your game ready driver is selected, it will not work properly. You need to select NVIDIA Studio driver. I am unable to find any suitable method to install it manually if your graphic card does not support it. So if I, if I found anything useful I will share it with you guys. So don't worry my video will be coming about installing this driver if your graphic card does not support it. Okay. So the first thing is you need to make sure it is a studio driver is selected in your GeForce Experience drivers. The next thing is you need to check whether your graphic card supports OpenGL, CUDA and all these technologies. So in order to find the answer to this you need to install a program which is called as CPU-Z ASUS ROG and uh, by using this program it will tell you the specifications of your uh, graphics card and as you can see my graphics card supports OpenCL, CUDA direct compute direct ml it also supports vulcan ray tracing sax and opengl 4.6 so make sure your graphic card supports all of these and uh, if your graphic card supports all of these technologies and computing technologies then your rendering speed and uh, uh, your power of premium pro will be much higher okay so the second thing is you need to make sure your graphic card supports all of these you can check out my specifications from the link in the description and you can upgrade your system as I have upgraded my system. So the next step is to change the uh, battery optimization settings for the Premier Pro to use dedicated GPU. For this you need to go to Windows and uh, you need to go to settings. And after that you need to go to system and here you need to keep in display and after that you need to select graphic settings and here you need to make sure it is selected as desktop app and uh, you need to select browse and here you need to add your program Premiere Pro or After Effects or whatever you want to optimize click on add I have already added it once you have added your program you need to go to options and uh, do not select let windows decide click on high performance nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti or whatever your graphic card is click on save and that is the third step to optimize your uh, dedicated gpu for premiere pro the fourth and the final and the most effective way of using your dedicated gpu for premiere pro is you need to disable your internal graphics card you need to go to control panel here you need to search device manager once you are in your device manager just go to display adapters and here you will see your internal graphics card and dedicated graphics card make sure your dedicated graphic card is enabled and if you see any internal graphic card here you need to simply right click on it and you need to select uninstall device because you do not need integrated GPU for rendering you need dedicated GPU like I have 1660 Ti so for this to work you need to disable your driver and it, and it is the most effective method to force Premiere Pro to use your dedicated GPU after you uninstall your uh, dead in, uh, integrated GPU 
make sure you do not turn it on uh, while you are entering okay another important point you need to consider is uh, you need to go to your nvidia control panel and i have uh, made a video on how to optimize your uh, nvidia control panel for premiere pro you can copy my settings it will effectively change your performance in premiere pro okay then you need to go to manage 3d settings and here you need to make sure program settings you are in program settings and in adobe premiere pro you need to change certain settings you can watch my video to uh, change your premiere pro settings to make sure your uh, dedicated graphics card is being used let me show you a, a quick preview you need to make sure your OpenGL rendering GPU is your dedicated graphics card not your internal and your CUDA GPU should be also GTX 1660 or dedicated GPU these are the most effective settings and I have also covered a lot of other settings in my in another video you can watch this too so these are the methods that are used to force your premium pro to use dedicated GPU not integrated GPU okay let me uh, let me know in the comment sections whether these uh, tricks are working for you or not and I hope you guys uh, find this video useful and if you face any problem please uh, com uh, ping me on social media platforms or in the comments comment section down below and if you are interested in my system specifications you can read the description and you can purchase anything you want and uh, last but not the least do not forget to subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me to do something more to bring you the best quality so that's it and in my next video i will show you how you can install the nvidia studio drivers on your computer and uh, i am facing the issue of uh, gpu incompatibility with the nvidia studio driver because if you have gtx or rtx series then it is okay you can download the nvidia studio driver but if you are uh, you have low series of uh, amd and nvidia graphics card then you are unable to download the nvidia studio drivers I will also try my best to solve this problem and if not then you need to upgrade your sys uh, upgrade your system and GPU so I don't think so it is going to work but I will try my best to find the solution if I find any solution then I will uh, hopefully share it with you soon thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like subscribe and share